you know, you're going to one of the most prestigious universities in the world, particularly for technology. You said you don't have a degree. I'm curious your thoughts on, you know, the whole scandal, and I don't know if you've been following this, but it's been a really big story on TechCrunch. Um, you know, this whole thing that Peter Thiel is doing to sort of, you know, give, allow oh, kids man. to stop out of school and sort of beyond Peter, like the broader message of for the first time in America, people are really debating the value of a college education and is a half a million dollars in student loans really a good investment in your future? What do you think? So it's a good question. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to really say whether I think what Peter's doing is a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I know Peter, it's an interesting idea. Um, but now with my new hat on, um, mm -hmm. so, so, so here's, here's kind of how I, I present it my case to MIT um, is that you've got all these people like me who dropped out of college, right? And, or dropped out of whatever level of education that they dropped out of. And it's because it, the, it didn't work for us. It's not that I don't like to learn. And it's right. actually not that I, I'm disrespectful of academia. My sister's an academic. A lot of the people I talk to who are really smart are academics. And I love hanging around academics. And so, but the program didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I haven't really thrown the whole idea of academics out the window. Of course, I wouldn't have gone to MIT if I had. Um, and I think that the Media Lab is probably one of the places where we can pilot a program that might be right for people like us, right? Interest-driven learning, completely open, flexible, no rules or rules that you can break, um, connections with um, industry, um, and you know, lots of really smart people doing really cool things um, with enough funding to get the stuff, you know, and and I, I really think there's a limit to what um, Silicon Valley and um, venture-backed things can do. I mean, mm -hmm. there are great things that I mean, I think can the, be done, I but... Think venture capitalists would agree with you. I think one of the complaints yeah. they have is like, look, some of this does, just does not fit in our model. We can't do big it, science experiments. We can't do it, sort of back-end, uncommercializable research. Exactly, and so if you're an entrepreneur that wants to start, uh, you know, the next um, Flickr or the next Twitter, of course you should take the job and drop out and do whatever. Mm -hmm. But there are lots of people who are looking at long-term problems. There are lots of people who want to do science. There's a lot of people who 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 thrive in this new environment. I might not have dropped out of school and become an entrepreneur if I had found the right program in school. And so what I'd like to do is design kind of the next generation of learning mm -hmm. um, with a, all, there's a whole bunch of people working on this, create a lab that will attract all of these people who would otherwise drop out. So there's a, there's a category of people who love university the way it is. Uh -huh. Fine, they should go to that. There's a category of people who should probably go and join Peter Thiel and become the next Peter Thiels. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of people who just don't fit into current university, yeah. but probably would love universities if they were designed a different way. And uh -huh. so, and that's kind of what I'd like to do at the Media Lab. So, and I don't want you know Peter to be grabbing all the people who just don't like university but aren't mm -hmm. really well suited to be entrepreneurs, which I think is actually more. It, it's the majority of people. I don't. I yeah. personally, having invested in a bunch of companies, most people shouldn't be entrepreneurs. <laughs> you hear that a lot in Silicon Valley these days. As it's gotten yeah, well, that's easier a problem, and easier. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's sort of my takeaway with Peter's program. It's like, it's twenty people. It's twenty people in the world. I mean, I just, I don't see him bringing education to its knees with selecting twenty right. people. Right. I, I agree, and, and 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 if he can attract some really great people, yeah. he'll have done his thing. But I, I totally agree. I don't think it's a statement about um, the well. It may be a statement about current education, right. but it's not the state the future of education, which is kind of what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. Although I don't like the word education. I hate being. I, I my my favorite line is I hate being educated. I, I love to learn, but I hate to be educated. <laughs> okay, so let's see. You are going to MIT, but you refuse to use the word education. You want to build a, <laughs> a long-term nimble operation. Um, you also want to remake education so people will feel left out. I mean, I mean like, are you going to discover unicorns too in this new job? <laughs> well, well, no, but the, the, the other thing that, that got me excited about the job is when I talked to the provost and I talked to the dean and I talked to the vice provost, and they're all thinking about the future, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, what are universities look like in the future? How do we encourage learning? You know, what, what, what is this all? And, and we're not that far off, you know? So right. it's, it's not like 
all universities think they should be in sort of gray buildings with lectures, repeating lectures from 10 years ago. I mean, I don't think anybody thinks that's the right way, right? But I think that the path is difficult because they've got so much stuff. Right. That's what's kind of cool about the Media Lab. It's sort of perfect, right? Because we get to, we get, you know, a lot of the structure from MIT when we need it. But the Media Lab also is independent enough from from the res- perspective of funding and also just rules mm-hmm. that it can experiment, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I'd really like the Media Lab instead of being kind of a um, and again, this this I'm just this is the caveat that I don't know whether <laughs> I, I'm not speaking on behalf of the University or Media Lab, but I would like the Media Lab to be kind of less of a sort of a, um, a side thing, which sometimes it looks like, but more of kind of a, a pilot for what the future of all universities can be like. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's kind of that's my hope. Mm-hmm. You know? But 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 it's not as crazy as it sounds. I mean, I think that that <laughs> at least at least they may be giving me lip service, but at least the the administrators that I talked to were at least interested in you know in thinking about how how we we could do this. So. Hey, they hired you, so that means something. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it was tricky for them. You know, um, trickier than I can imagine. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And next time I'm in Boston, I hope you're in town because I would love to stop by and check it out. I've never even been on the MIT campus. Really? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you have like to come you, I'm not particularly Ivy League pedigreed, so I always wonder, wonder if I <laughs> burst into flames or something like that. <laughs> well, definitely come by the, the media lab when you, when you get a chance. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks.